deep breath. So hello everyone out there in YouTube land. I am the Scent Maven and welcome back to my channel Shopping and Scents. I'm having a hair experience. Uh, somebody told me, she was funny. She said to me, you know, you should tell your hairdresser how uh, to do your hair or to show you how to do your hair so it doesn't look messy. No, this is what happens after I've been cleaning and doing errands. This is a natural hair experience. So anyway, I have a super haul to share with you. I'm going to show you the art that I framed. The poster frames are on super sale. <sighs> Deep breath from cleaning. The poster frames are on super sale from Michaels. But I have for you a TJ Maxx haul, a Marshalls haul, and then TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Telco and I'll show you one thing from CVS and that should be it uh, let's start off oh I got so much stuff here okay so the other day I was in TJ Maxx and they do not have well I gotta fix some of this they do not have any village candles left all the village candles are gone but village candle is having a super sale on their site so a side note village candle if you buy three large jars it's 15 percent off plus if you sign up for their like sign up for an account which is free just to have a login and everything they take another 20 percent off your total and it's 50 percent no it's free shipping at $50. And if you go through Rakuten, it's another 4% back. So I ended up getting like three large candles and three small candles for 50 something dollars with the shipping. So yeah, definitely check out Village Candle. So all they had at the TJ Maxx that I went to and the Marshalls was Sand and Fog. Now, I have not tried the Sand and Paws yet. I did find everybody raves about Sand and Fog. So I got Sand and Fog. Um, this one has gnomes on it, which is cute. But then when I got to the register, they had the large one of this scent, which is vanilla tobacco. And I was like, oh, should I get the large jar? It was black and it had like a floral print. I was like, and it was, this is $7.99. The other one was $12.99. I was like, you know what? Let me just get the small one. Even though it was right at the register. Like somebody had just left it right there. To tempt me. Anyway. So this says inspired on the California coast. And it smells really good. Vanilla tobacco. You guys know that I don't smoke anymore. So I do like a tobacco scent. This smells like a like a creamy vanilla and a smoky tobacco. It smells so good. And then, of course, you could repurpose these lids as coasters. And then, of course, it has the sand and fog story. It says, sand and fog was born of a vision of three women who believed candles should not only smell good, but look good too. We are living proof the California dream is alive and well, hoping we can bring light and happiness into your life. Christy, Elsa, and Jill. And then it says 100% cotton wick sustainable wood lid soy wax blend. Please repurpose. So that was the first thing that I picked up. Then, you know, I always like to go over to the, um, I find that the, the best stuff, and please ignore my pug snoring. The best stuff is like close to the counter. Like before you pay all the, the great items that they want to tempt you with. So they usually have like the, the lotions and the sprays that are like the famous people sprays. Like they'll have Tommy Bahama or Paris Hilton they had and whatever. So I got this one. I was like, I'm going to pick one. So this one was $7.99. Usually they go for $6.99. So I got Riri by Rihanna. There was another one called something candy, but it didn't really smell like candy. And then they had the Paris Hilton. It was some kind of like Bolero or Burlesque or something. I don't know. But so I decided to get Riri. 
It smells good. I was going to get two, but then I was like, you know what? No. It smells really good, though. It smells like perfume and candy. I know I always say that. It smells really, really good. I wonder how long this will last. Yeah. And I like the packaging. Riri. Oh, it matches my nails now. So that smells super good. And then I found these notepads, right? Because I always am using notepads on my fridge. So what happened was I saw this one and this one. This one had no wrapping on it. And this one is like the same kind of pad, the same size. So I was like, this one has $2.99 on it. And this one has nothing on it. Are they both $2.99? And then on along with that, they're Valentine's Day. So shouldn't they be clearance? And yeah, so he marked them $2.99. And then he marked them down to $1.50. So this one says Pugs and Kisses. Although that looks like an, in, that's not a pug. It says Pugs and Kisses, but that's like an English, that looks like a French bulldog and a corgi. But anyway. And then this one, it has a corgi on it, and it says, I love you, and then it says, buttloads to do. So, I got those two for $1.50 each. They have a lot of pages. So, that Riri smells really good. I'm not going to fold this bag. I'm just going to go on. Then I went to Marshall's. I got a, a reusable bag. Did I need another one? Ask me. No, I didn't. So I got this like, I don't know, is, what do they call these? Mandalas, medallas, whatever. These were 99 cents. And they have ones with like elephants on them or whatever. So I got one Marshall's bag. Maybe I'll give it to my mom. This is really strong. And then I picked up a bunch of stuff. So the Alba Botanica. I've been using this in the Plumeria Shampoo for color treated hair and I've been enjoying it. It's been keeping the color in my hair, although you can't tell right now. Uh, so this, do I have a stain on my shirt? No. Um, this is Hawaiian Facial Cleanser from Alba Botanica and it says Pore Purifying Pineapple Enzyme. It doesn't smell that great. They had another one that, they had a coconut milk one, but it was like to shrink your pores. And I don't feel like I really need pore shrinking. I think I really, really need like pore purifying. I don't know. So I decided to get the Alba, Alba Botanica Hawaiian Facial Cleanser Pore Purifying Pineapple Enzyme. So let's smell this again. Oh, it really, it really doesn't smell very good at all. Um, the coconut milk definitely smelled better, but, uh, Let's see if this works. I mean, the other one, the Plumeria one smells good, but it, it also works. So this one was $6.99. And it says, uh, for renewed radiant complexion, pore purifying cleanser made with pineapple and papaya, washes away impurities, makeup and dullness. That's what I need. Infused with aloe, hibiscus and passion flower, it's a fresh faced treat that provides much needed R and R to soothe and balance, discover total tropical radiance. So let's see if it works. They, their hair products are good. Let's see if their face products are good. Then I know I need to stop with the soap. I do. I usually give the antibacterial soap to my mom. So this was $3.99, but this smells really, really good. This is body prescriptions, which I'm not liking their body butter right now. Um, this is antibacterial hand wash in mint and tea tree. Now, normally I don't like tea tree because it has a very men menthol-y type of smell, but this smelled really good. That was hard to smell. Uh, I smelled better in the store. I don't know. I need to cut back on the antibacterials, but it was pretty. Look how pretty that is. And like I said, I'll either use it or give it to my mom. Kills germs and bacteria. Non-drying protects skin. For 
$3.99. That's not bad for 16.9 uh, fluid ounces. Then I got this, um, they had a few of these. It smells really good, but for $3.99, I was like, I have enough air freshener that I really don't need more. But this is so pretty. I've never seen this before. It's Blossom. Blossom brand, and it's cactus flower and lime. It smells so good in the store. It smells like, it smells like the cactus blossom, the agave cactus blossom from Bath and Body Works. It smells nice. It has a very light floral scent to it. I don't really smell any lime. It almost has like a laundry scent to it. It's like cactus flower or cactus blossom with like laundry. Now I smell a little of the lime. It's really good. It's really good, but like I said, for, for $3.99, when I can get these much cheaper, yeah, I, I was like, no, one is enough. I'm getting dry skin here uh, and here and here. And so I've been using, whoa, I've been using oil of Olay, but then I saw this and I was like, this is pretty. So this says advanced clinicals, collagen and rose water, plump and glow facial mist. I don't know if I need plump. It says instantly revive dry lackluster skin enriched with watermelon and peptide complex, peptide complex. It says aquaspheres Increases hydration instantly uh, up to 88% for a smooth look. Dermatologist and allergy tested. So it's a glass bottle. Collagen and rose water. So this was $4.99. So I figured this will help with my dry skin. I. Uh, It smells like rose water. It doesn't really smell like a whole lot of anything. It just smells like rose water. I wanted it to, like I said, refresh and revive my skin. So hopefully that with the pineapples will help. Then I got this toilet spray. I know I bought the toilet spray from uh, Ulta, right? The Poopery Citron Rock Candy, which I could use that as like a air freshener. I really like that one, the re the Rock Candy. Let's say the Riri. The Rock Candy is really good and I actually ordered a bigger bottle which was the same price um, from Amazon. So this says Poo Proof Butt First Toilet Spritz. Now they had a different one besides this one that I did not like the scent, but I can't remember what it was. It's uh, This one is Wildflower Spell. And this was $4.99, which is pretty reasonable for eight fluid ounces, considering that the poopery bottles are so super small. So, like I said there, but first. Um, this smells really good. It kind of has like a minty tea tree oil-esque scent to it, but I like the bottle. I think it's really pretty. So. Then I got this. I couldn't smell it in the store. So we're going to try it now and see if it's stinky. This is traditional French formula. A la Maison de Provence. So this says wild flowers, moisturizing shea butter and argan oil, hand and body lotion. It's very pretty. It's sealed. No idea what it smells like. Don't know. I'm hoping like the Ed Hardy one that it'll be a nice surprise. And I can't open it. Can't open it. 
like a nail. Why are these things so hard to open? I don't know, you guys are getting bored. I know, I would be getting bored too. Okay, I opened it. I'm gonna mess up my charger now that I just, just stuck my charger in this to open it. Um, I'm not loving it. This was four ninety nine. Wildflowers. I don't love it. It's okay. Doesn't really smell like wildflowers. Doesn't really smell like anything. And then let me show you the the most expensive thing that I bought in Marshalls, which was only thirty dollars. And you're gonna buy it. Why did you get that? So remember, I told you I don't get handbags really anymore because I'm hooked on backpacks, and I love that backpack that I got from. Uh, it's okay that I got from Target, but I saw this backpack and it's like it's supposed to be sequins but it kind of looks like sprinkles. And I was like, I love it for the summer. So, doesn't it look like sprinkles? Look. And of course, let me just show you the strap there. That it's Betsy Johnson. So it's the one zipper in, okay. So I think you could wear it as a crossbody. You can go wear it as a crossbody, which would be good. It's fluffy material, so it's going to get dirty real fast. Um, this was only $29.99. They had another one that was like a tie-dye purple. And you know I love my purples, but it just looked like a washed-out bag. This one, actually, it just caught my eye. And it has her usual inside with the black and the hearts. So I was like, yeah, I want to change up my bag a little bit. I'll go back to Betsy. I still have unused Betsy Johnson bags from Bad Enabler that I have to use. But um, yeah, so it says love Betsy. I saw it and it attracted me like right away. I was like, well, it looks like rainbow sprinkles. And then I was like, this in the summer, so pretty. So. Then we'll go to CVS. I have been trying the psoriasis cream because I have psoriasis here that I pick at, which I shouldn't. Um, so I tried the psoriasis cream from Dollar Tree. It's okay. It kind of works, but it's not really, it's like you have to put it on every day and I want something that's going to fix my psoriasis where I'm not applying cream every day and it's going to go away eventually. Uh, it is seasonal. I'm sure picking at it doesn't help. So I got the psoriasin. This was $14.99 from CVS. So it is sealed. It looks a little squished, but it is sealed. So this is deep moisturizing ointment, stop psoriasis, itching, scaling, and redness, prompt flare-up control. So I'm hoping I'm hoping that this gets rid of my psoriasis because it looks terrible. It looks like I have a, a red beard. See? I get it behind my ears, and now I'm starting to get it up here. I got it here, and it's just a mess. So I'm going to try that. Then, what did I get at Telco? Like, I, I cleaned up at Telco because they had everything super cheap. I wanted to see if they had any more New York shirts. I have stuff everywhere. I wanted to see if they had any more New York shirts. They didn't. They had shirts with sayings on them. And these shirts are like $2 and change. I think they're $2.98. How much are they? 
$2.98 or like four for 10 or something. Yeah, like four for 10 or, or $2.98. So I got this in an extra large. I'm just going to wear it as a nightshirt. I don't plan on wearing this outside the apartment um, or on my word for videos. It says, in my defense, I was left unsupervised. So, yeah. In my defense, I was left unsupervised. And it's this forest green. So, yeah, I thought that was cute. Then I needed some new boxer shorts because I wear boxer shorts as pajamas in the summer when I'm not wearing long pajamas, right? So they had these boxer shorts. It's an extra large. I hope they fit. Um, so these were $3.99. And then they, they only had beer boxer shorts. And I like these. I have ones that are Ninja Turtle ones that have like this band. Is this Joe Boxer? No, it says Fun Boxer. Anyway, so it's, it, the, here's the boxer shorts. I like the cottony ones, the cottony stretchy ones. Cause like I said, I use them as pajama shorts, even though they have the hole in the front. So, and my boyfriend doesn't drink either. So it doesn't, I, and he doesn't wear boxers like this. So this, it says, this guy needs a beer. I don't know. I just needed a new pair of comfy boxers. And then they had these pajamas for $5 that I wanted to get. I immediately thought to get it for the boyfriend, but they only had two left and they were way too big for him. So, cause he's a skinny mini, but they fit me and my big butt. So, um, they were marked five, but they were on an originally, originally from wherever they came from, they were marked $34. They're Jurassic World. And then they were marked down to $5. And now they are final sale $3. So I was like, I need to get those. Okay. Can you guys see? So new pants smell $3 pajama pants. I just had to throw out a pair of Joe Boxer pajama pants that I love that were Christmas and said, do not open till Christmas. And I love those pants and they just like, they were so old that they were starting to rip and whatever. So I had to get rid of them. So I'm now I'm going to replace them with these Jurassic World pajama pants. Yeah, I love new pajama smell. Ah, anyway. Yeah, so look, it says Jurassic World, and then look, it says $34, and then it says $5, and then it was marked down, look, well, no, I can't show it to you, because it's, it was marked down to $3, yeah, $3 final sale, I was like, that's a deal, I would take it, but, these would be way, 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 way too big for the boyfriend. So that's why I didn't get him the other pair or else I was, like I said, I saw these and I totally thought of him. I was like, those would be cool for him. But too, too big. So now I'm going to show you what I got at, uh, not Marshall's. Michael's. Okay, so let's talk about decor and what you can get at Michael's and how much it is. And they're having a 70% off sale on frames. Oh, and let me tell you something. I almost had an entire rack of frames fall on top of me. I don't like this wildflowers thing. I don't. Maybe the boyfriend will like it. I don't know. It's like fruity. It's, it's like fruity looking. Like if it didn't look like girly, I'm sure he would use it. But I just don't like it. You always take a chance when you buy something scent unsmelled. I don't know. 
Maybe one of the girls where I work will like it. No. Uh, so 70% of, oh, so the rack of frames almost fell on me. Oh my God. Okay. So I went to pick out, um, I think it was this frame because I wanted a white frame for the creature from the Black Lagoon. So I, it was in the middle. So I was trying to pull it up and as I'm trying to pull it up, all of the rack on top of it was like literally leaning, leaning. And I was like, help, literally in the store going, help, help. And somebody came over and they're like, what's wrong? I was like, the rack is falling on me. And they're like, holy bleep. And they had a radio for help. And I was like, I'm sorry. And they, they were like, it's okay. And they had to like hold it up and get like, they had to call backup. So let me tell you what they had. They had one left, one. Remember I told you, you could frame records. I need two, I needed two album frames. One I broke completely and one I just broke a little bit. So I have a Joan Rivers one that I just broke a little bit, but still I needed two new frames. They only had one. So this is what the paper looks like. Now, this is specifically for records. Now I cannot stress this enough. Do not buy a regular 12 by 12 frame to frame an album, especially if you're going to leave the record in the sleeve because record albums are not exactly 12 by 12. They're like 12 and a half by 12 and a half. So that's what this is, 12 and a half by 12 and a half. And there's, I think it was $6.99. And you can see it says here, an LP album frame. Turn your albums into art. And this is studio decor. So what I did was, I took this album that I love that started to get damaged. So I found this album in the attic of an American Legion when I was doing some work with some veterans, right? So they let me, they had like a whole ton of old albums and I happened to see this when I was like, and they're like, do you want it? And I was like, yes, I do. So they gave me this album and then the frame broke when I moved. And then I think it got a little more scuffed because it hasn't been framed in a while, but it's like amazing, especially if you're an eighties person. So this is what an album frame looks like framed well with something in it so we have falco this is the one the album with rock me amadeus this is what the back looks like okay this is i mean how dashing and gorgeous is falco i mean he died terribly the bad thing about falco is he was allegedly a terrible alcoholic and he did die in a horrible car accident I don't know if it was related to his drinking, but he was a super talented, attractive, dashing man. So I was very lucky and happy to find Falco. He's a little scuffed. He's a little scuffed there, but we forgive him for that. So then these frames, not all not all the 24 by 36 are on sale. It's only these. The ones that look like chalk. See these? They're studio decor, 24 by 36. Okay, the ones with the chalkboard. These are $12. So this frame for the creature from the Black Lagoon. Let me show the studio. This, and I'm so glad I went with the white. I had a feeling. I had a feeling. So this 24 by 36 frame was $12. And it has a wide border. This is plexiglass. And it looks beautiful in the white. I love this poster in the white. It's so retro. And when I got it, this I got from eBay. The poster. I paid like $10 for it. It came, um, it... It was printed on shiny, shiny paper. And it's really vibrant. And that white frame, I'm like so impressed with myself that I was like, you know what? Even before, and I had not unrolled this. I just had seen pictures of it. I was like, that white font and the retro with the white and the white. And I was like, yep, 
it needs a wide print. Okay, so now I have this frame here. Okay, so this is this is what the frame looks like without anything in it. This is a $12 frame. It's the same frame as that, only this is black. So, this comes in, I believe, three colors. Black, white, and like a wood, a wood finish. And I want to say maybe a brass finish. But I'm not positive, but I think it does come in a wood finish, like a brown wood finish. Then I had a poster that was not 24 by 36. It was slightly smaller. So what I thought I was going to have to do is buy the 24 by 36 and either have them cut a mat for it or take this piece of paper that's in here, turn it around, stick the poster on it and then have a border. But then I noticed, I checked my order from all posters and it said that the poster was 23 by 33. And this is 24 by 36. So 23 would have been an inch off here, 36, 33. So a couple inches off the bottom. It would, I mean, I would have looked okay all around, but I found a frame that was 24 by 32. Now remember, I was looking for 23 by 33, and this is 24 by 32. So it was an inch off. It was an inch too small. It's the same company. It's the Studio Decor. But the, the one that's on sale is the Studio Decor Belmont collection. That's this one that looks like the chalk. The Studio Decor Center, downtown Centerville, the ones that look like this, the frames are much lighter and I actually prefer them a lot more because they are lighter and you don't have to worry about them falling off your wall if or putting in like a super heavy nail. So this was... $14.99. It was still on sale, but like it's it's a smaller frame and that was $14.99 and this is a bigger frame and it's $12. Why? Because it's heavy and it's, it's harder to work with. It looks nice. I don't know. So what I did was I framed the Tom Waits poster. I folded it at the bottom. So I basically messed up the poster. This is supposed to be a rare poster. So I kind of like botched it up. And I have a, a quarter of an inch off on the side. So I messed up this poster. Uh, but when you look at it from far away, it's not going to make a difference. So here's the Tom Waits poster. It's the one where he's smoking. It's actually not as, the resolution is not as high as I thought it was going to be. Because the woman, you really can't, she's like, you could see him really well. But she's kind of, and she's far in, more interesting to me. Um, she's wearing pasties, pasties there. Uh, she's kind of like a little blurry in the background. They like focusing on him smoking. And like, she's like a little, I don't know, in the background. So, like I said, I didn't frame it exactly. There's, see, there's this little brown line there. I could have put the white of the poster behind that. But, like I said, when I hang it up and you look at it from far away, you won't realize it. And it's sad that I messed it up by folding it an inch. I really thought that it was going to be an inch over. I miscalculated in my head. Uh, I thought it was going to be, the frame was going to be an inch too big instead of an inch too small. And so I ended up having to fold the bottom. And so it's a rare poster. And if it ever gets de dis discontinued, decontinued, discontinued, and I ever wanted to smell, smell it, sell it, um, I would have to take a discount because I actually messed it up. So that's that. Anyway, that's everything that I bought. 
still hoping this wildflower smells better, but it really doesn't. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. A la maison de Provence. That's the end of this video. Do I still smell like Riri? I do. Um, yeah. Comment, rate, subscribe, follow me on Instagram at Shopping and Sense. Tell me what you think about my new, my new glittery Betsy Johnson bag. It looks like candy. Yes. Oh, speaking of candy. Before I go, I found a cartoon. Like when I was in college, I used to like Foamy Me the Squirrel. If you've not checked out Foamy Me the Squirrel, check out, uh, Foamy from when the old Foamy, like from 10 years ago. And so now I found this guy. He is really funny and talented, and his name is Ice Cream Sandwich. So I want to see if I could link the cartoon down below. There's a video that he did called Bad Customers. It's all about working in retail, it's like an eight minute long cartoon. It is so funny. It's like stick figures and everything, but it's like the cadence of his voice and like the punchlines and stuff. It's super, super hilarious. So highly recommend Ice Cream Sandwich. Check out his channel. I'll try to remember to link it below. Anyway, comment, rate, subscribe, follow me on Instagram. It's shopping and sense. And I will see you all in a future video. But until then, goodbye everyone out there in YouTube land.